And low sharks, Sniz here. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? My last video with any amount of voiceover was a preliminary podcast with a fellow Thunderbreaker. I was originally planning on creating a podcast series surrounding MapleStory, and all in all, it was a fun video to make and had a pretty good reception, so it felt like a good plan going forward. But as you could guess, that won't be happening, as I no longer have the time to make videos. Hell, I don't even have time for MapleStory. Maybe I should explain. I was told when I was very young that I could have anything I wanted, as long as it was the only thing I wanted. But obviously making the choice to pursue that want comes with opportunity costs. The choice to become the strongest Thunderbreaker had costs. I wanted to not only be strong on paper, but also considered the most skilled at it too. And I did manage to attain that goal. My character has an exclusive item that proves that I am the strongest Thunderbreaker, or rather was, and reaching this goal had costs. Overall, I don't regret this decision and journey, but I would regret it if I continued playing. I have often said that I was reducing my time with MapleStory, and this time I will be taking an extended break because I reorganized my priorities. And I have a feeling I'll be gone for quite a while. And while I did hint at this in an earlier video, I did want to talk about why I'll no longer be playing. I met someone. And in the past, I might have been hesitant or even embarrassed to share any information about this experience. But that isn't me anymore. I like her. It's pretty simple, isn't it? So, while I remember to, I can and will take some time to gush about her. The things I've experienced since I met her this past September made me wish I chose to be social earlier in life. Though, I honestly can't imagine that timeline as I wouldn't have met her to help me realize that. She's stunning, and I felt very out of my league because of it. In the past, that feeling alone would have been enough for me to run away. And though there was a massive sense of inadequacy at the start, it's now gone, or at the very least manageable. I can recognize my own strengths instead of believing that my weaknesses were all that I had. For example, even when I did prove myself the strongest Thunderbreaker, I did not believe myself the best. But I can recognize now, I was consistently pushing myself to be the best out there. This all leads me to want to be better. I want to continue to have new experiences and make memories that were not made in front of the computer. And she helped me realize that. This decision to stop playing also affected a lot of other aspects of my life. My overall health is significantly better, and while I had already started steadily improving my health at the start of 2023, the speed at which my physical and mental health was improving sped up drastically when she and I started dating in December. Though back then, I was extremely worried that she was a temporary form of motivation, that she or I would not see anything more than a small situationship. And some days my anxiety does spike, and that thought does cross my mind. But I know I'm consistent. I played MapleStory Daily for five fucking years straight, so I know I can commit to the long haul. And while I did initially let my anxiety shatter my confidence regarding her, that isn't the case anymore. That thought may occur. The what if could cross my mind, but then it's gone, because there's absolutely no point in being terrified of something that hasn't happened yet. I'll give her my best, because she deserves nothing less, and to continue to better myself, I cannot commit the amount of time I was to Maple anymore. Nor do I need to be tempted either, so I cut Maple out completely. I have many stories I could share regarding these new experiences I've had, though I do think that's best saved for a different audience. I like her, and I know she likes me. So I'll do just as I did as a Thunderbreaker and prove I'm the best. I have very much enjoyed my time playing MapleStory, despite all the ups and downs. I hold many players I've met very near and dear to my heart. Some of my favorite memories could never have occurred without the game. So I did want to express my gratitude for getting to have those experiences. I'm going to keep swimming, just not in Maple. This has been Sniz, so long and thanks for all the fish.